right hand reigns in from Jackson as he's on the attack and he comes back and wins it. What a turnaround by Greg Jackson. Behaved like a. But right now that day. Okay, to start this list off, what does yeet or get yeeted mean? It's pretty much to excel or get trampled by what life is throwing at you. So pretty much this translates to best boxing comeback video. Because there's too many damn comeback videos on this platform, that's why. And with that, let's start the list. Jermaine Taylor was making his fifth title defense of his middleweight crown against underdog Kelly Pavlik. Taylor, who didn't look all that well against Kasim Uma after the first half, and most notably, Corey Spinks, who literally was just shy of becoming the middleweight champion. Taylor had a lot to prove and a lot of anger and frustration to let out. And Kelly Pavlik was that man. And my gosh, Taylor started the fight quick and the fight looked about done. Pavlik's team knew this would happen, prepared especially for this moment, and thanks to, at the time, alternative strength and conditioning training. What we saw on Kelly when he first came down here was an incredible work ethic. It's phenomenal how he can change his body and get in phenomenal shape very, very quickly. Pavlik has been incorporating these workouts into training since his first fight against Jermaine Taylor in September 2007. He says him getting up in the second round that had a lot to do with his tire training and stuff that he had the strength and power to get back up and keep fighting. Pavlik was able to shake it off fast and mount up a comeback, in which, when it rained, it poured down, stopping Taylor in the seventh round. Leonard was down on the cards by a lot against Hearns. He would need a knockout to win. Nine minutes. You're blowing it now, son. You're blowing it. I separate the man from the boys now. We're blowing it. In other words, you lose it. You gotta take it away from him, okay? Speed! And you just see him explode out of the corner. This, of course, is the 13th round, Randy. You heard everything that Angelo Dundee had to say. You got nine minutes. You got nine minutes. Ray just gave it all. I mean, everything. I mean, see, Tommy dig down, but Ray stooped down and dig down to get this fight out. After some motivational words in the corner, Leonard got at it, stopping Hearns in the 14th round. Hearns has got to give him some respect. Oh, grab hold of him, which he's not doing. No, he's too weak. He has nothing left. He's going to be knocked out. And the referee is dumping the fight. The referee is dumping the fight. I don't believe this. I don't believe that either. Oh, no. This fight was Tony's biggest test against undefeated Michael Nunn for his IBF middleweight title. Tony came into the fight as a 20 to 1 underdog, and from the opening bell, it showed that he was. Grossly down on the scorecards, Tony needed a knockout, but it really didn't look like he was going to pull it off. But when you're fighting someone who has dynamite as hands, and lights out as their nickname, you better be on point the whole night, in which none was till late in the 11th round. None completely loses concentration, and Tony clocks him with a perfect shot. It makes you think, what was he doing? They, they better get their corner Michael off, Nunn. I'll tell you. This corner is up. James not Tony, kidding, he's not going to make it up. up. And I don't think he's trying to get up. This crowd trying to get him back. He was able to get up, but none was so far gone that his trainer was forced to stop the fight to protect him, because certainly the ref was not going to. In the early days of the Money Team promotions, Mayweather's rising prospect, Mickey Bay Jr., was on his way to an easy unanimous decision against John Molina. As he was well up on the scorecards, in the 10th and final round, that would all change. In the final minute and 30 seconds of the fight, Mickey was clipped and he was in survival mode. Young and inexperienced, a clutch thing to do in this situation is do what Tim Bradley did and take a knee to burn out the clock and to regroup. Bay did the complete opposite and did his absolute best to not go down resulting for him to get hit with too many clean blows, forcing the ref to stop the fight. The fight Mamma yeah. Mia! Unbelievable turn of events here in Vegas! 
Jorge Castro was making his third defense of his WBA middleweight title against undefeated John David Jackson. It was entertaining yet dominating performance by Jackson as he was far up on the scorecards. Uh, Castro doesn't have the career of a model the way his face looks right now. Castro's in trouble too right now. More and more and more. No, no, no real big punches getting through clean right now. It's kind of a bitter pattern of playing. Cut on both eyes, tired and hurt. Jackson is moving in to finish the fight, then out of nowhere to be decked by Castro by a perfect left hook. Castro doesn't have the career of a model the way his face looks right now. Castro's in trouble too right now. We're, we're closing in on the end. Yeah, if, if he applies himself now, he can stop. Oh! Jackson was unable to recover, and Castro was able to successfully defend his title. Round nine, that is now the question. Three knockdown over the front, and that is it. The third knockdown here in this round. It's all over. What an unbelievable turnaround and comeback for Jorge Castro. Getty's first defense of his IVF super featherweight title against Wilson Rodriguez. Absolutely awful start by Gaddy. Rodriguez was bringing in that heat and Gaddy had no answer as he was starting to swell up bad under his eye. Gaddy's got a huge mouse under his left eye. Hey, I don't know if I've ever seen a fighter swell up so much in those rounds. After a small rally and dodging a dickhead official who was really giving him a tough time to continue in between rounds. Back one. Back, I say back one. Hey, don't push on me, I'm, I'm pushing you. Wait. Cover, okay. cover your left eye. Cover your left eye. All right. Cover your left eye or it's over. How many fake? I said cover. Two, How many fingers? fingers? Now. Oh. It's going to take some drama to rescue Arturo Gotti's star status here. And Gotti finishes the round by pulling it out from nowhere. Normal side. Look at me. Look at me. How many fingers? Two. Say it again. Two. Say it again. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on. I don't think you can go more than another round, no, Roy. Getty knew what had to be done, and he came back with some heat of his own, dropping Rodriguez with a body shot, then to lay him out to finish the fight. Champion, and I did it. I you blew the tonight again. You sure did. Last and finally, Razor Ruddock versus Raymond Alubo Wale. Ruddock had not stepped in the ring professionally in 10 years. At the age of 51, with guys like Bernard Hopkins fighting at world class levels at 50 years plus, that really does inspire some retired fighters to go out there and achieve a goal of their own. Being that Ruddock in his final fight before retiring, he won the Canadian title. Technically, he's the champion emeritus. So in his first fight, why not fight for the Canadian title? It was not really looking all too well for Ruddock. And in the fourth round, it looked like the fight was about to be over as Raymond was going in for the finish in the fifth. Two quick, three, four, five. Ruddock on the ropes now. Big Ray's got him moving in. Ruddock falls to the floor. He's down on the canvas. But it was at that moment, Raymond forgot who he was fighting. The man he was fighting was Razor, motherfucking Ruddock. Do you know why they call him the Razor? He may have forgotten, and he's about to find out. That uppercut connected, and again, Big Ray stunned. Ruddock's got him in the ropes. Big Ray trying for the clinch. He goes down. Ruddock connected with that uppercut. Down goes Big Ray. And the crowd goes wild here in the Hershey Center. He's hurt. He's hurt. It's over. It's over. And on top of that, that's part one of Yeet or Get Yeeted, which should be in part two. For more videos like these, be sure to like, and if you're new, subscribe. For more updates on future videos, boxing news, politics, memes, and whatever, follow me on Instagram. I'm Alfa Sancho, and I'm out.